Terry. Welcome back to my channel, Southern Yankee. Today, I got my, oops, the bow fell off, my mix and match box. Um, they always wrap it so beautifully. Here's the bow, and I always reuse this as well for presents. So, looks like I have two bundles, bundle one and bundle two. So, I'm going to get into this, kind of take a look and see what we have in here. And then I'll probably do the try on later because I have some things I've got to do. But you get your little pink pack of info. There's a lot of information. You do get a mailer to mail anything back uh, that you don't want. I am double checking on specials to make sure it is still available to you. But I believe the box I get, um, I know it's not available through every YouTuber. Last I talked to them. Um, but with me, if you use Try Us 20 off, you can get your first three boxes for $5 each. Otherwise, it's a $25 styling fee, which is credited towards anything you keep. And I will tell you, they give you plenty of choices and beautiful items. And one of the best ways to get items that you like through Mix and Match is to follow them either on Facebook or on Instagram. And they post their new things that they have coming in, things they've ordered, and you can actually heart, you know, like them and then comment can you tell my stylist I would like one of these or whatever so you find items that you you really love and um, they'll send them to you based on you can they'll usually your stylist will pick some things out she thinks would look great on you based on your style profile that maybe you wouldn't have tried for yourself that's part of the fun of these subscription boxes but then also they'll send you some things that you you kind of you know said that you liked you also get a prepaid mailer there's this through UPS is it yeah, theirs is through UPS Ground, um, so this has to be dropped at a UPS store, which is not a big deal now that I know where the one is by my house. Um, you get your pricing sheet um, and your invoice, or your invoice and your letter from your stylist. Let's get this open. And she puts out, looks like she put an outfit together here today. Um, I have it a go, go for it style box is what I have. And I have one, two, oh, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, seven, um, seven items in here. It is a pricey box. Um, even after discounts, it's pricey. So um, it looks like if you keep five or more, you get 25% off everything. Before any discounts, it's $449. With the 25% discount, it comes to $112.25. Um, looks like it would be three thirty six seventy five. So that's going to be way more than what I'm going to be able to do today, um, which I know that. Um, Anna is my stylist, so if you sign up and you want Anna, just request her, and she should be able to um, style your boxes as well. So it looks like the go for it every other month is a ten dollar styling fee, and or go for it as you go monthly is a 25 styling fee so that is a little bit of a change for them so um also one of the other things that's nice about this box that is unique is they do have a payment plan uh where you can do a three month payment plan I believe you have to have at least a hundred dollars or more that you're putting on the payment plan to have it split for three months i've done that on several occasions when i've really loved everything in the box and that's a very easy way for you to sort of put your clothes on layaway and pay for them at, you know over the course of three months however you get to keep them right away so you have your items and you're just making payments which is really cool beautylish does that too with um, a lot of companies are starting to do that but i don't really see any other um clothing boxes doing that yet so i'm excited that they get to do that so if there's something i absolutely fall in love with then i can just space out the payments over you know october november and december so okay so let's get in let's go ahead and start with the first thing and what does she say here um in this style box you have a legging a cute jean sweaters a cardigan and a faux leather jacket i hope you love them i love this one awesome my baby kitty's sitting here I want to see if I can show her to you. She's about amongst my mess. She can't hear me, so. Look at how cute she is, though. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. She cuddling. She has been crazy all day. I mean crazy all day. <laughs> all right, so let's get in here and see what we have. I'm excited about sweaters for the fall and some nice items. I have some, a lot of stuff coming in, a lot of fall hauls to show you. This sweater I got last year. I'll have to check where I got this. If I can find this for you, I'll link it. Um, well, it's a cardigan. Let me just see if I show you. The bottom is, the bottom is like this, this part of it. And I'm pretty sure I got it from Trendsend, but I'm not 100%, so I'll let you know. All right, so the first thing is from Debut. One of the nice things that they do have the prices on here, um, this is $45. 
All right, and so this is a burgundy v-neck sweater and it is a um, closer to the chest sweater. Like what I mean by that is it's not like real bulky because I don't feel like those look really great on me. I know like that oversized stuff's in, it just, for me, I'm being short and it just makes me look rounder. So this is the, the right kind of weight of a sweater for me. So there we go. It's a really pretty, nice, almost like um, a brick, a red brick color like a pretty burgundy, all right. Then it looks like we have a pair of jeans from Liverpool, which feel fantastic. These are in a size eight, and they are $98. And eco-friendly collection, I've never heard of that before. Um, Liverpool, Los Angeles, these, like I said, they're size eight, so it's, they feel really good. Um, it says they're called the stove pipe. I don't know, and oh, they might be like a, Oh, interesting. Okay, so look at the, let me show you the back first. It's got that, I'm not sure what I think about that on my rear. We'll see. There's the pockets are nice. They're faux pockets. Oh, no, they're real pockets. The real pockets come in here. They just got a design. And then they come down and they've got kind of like a wide leg, like a baby um, flare or boot cut type of a jean. I don't need any jeans, but those are really cute. So I like everything on them, except I'm not sure if I like that buckle on the back. <laughs> um, but the rest of them, the weight of them, they, these feel like, I can tell by they're a hundred bucks. These feel like thick in quality. So very nice. Next I have something by Gilly. Okay, so this is a Gilly wrap dress and this is $45. Gilly's got great prices for their dresses and great basic like solids that you can wear and add boots and jewelry and cardigans and blazers and really add their dresses, you know, take their dresses to the next level. This is a beautiful one. This is a black wrap and it looks like it's, it feels like, you know, like it comes in there and it's sort of tied together. Um, and it looks like it's probably just a fit and flare long sleeve. This is a really nice weight as well. The weight of this is substantial. Um, this feels like it's going to be great for um, a winter winter dress for work. Um, maybe it could replace one of my other ones. That's what I'm trying to do now. Like if I keep things and I go in my closet, I have to get rid of something because I have too much. All right. This next item, did I tell you how much that was? $45. Looks like maybe another sweater. Um, this is also by debut and this is $29. Oh, this is a cardigan. Okay. So this might be cute with that little black dress. Um, this is that same color as the sweater that she sent me and the same brand, but it's just a maroon cardigan. And that's actually the one color cardigan I do need. And it's only 29 bucks. So if that looks nice on me, I may keep that for work because that's the only color cardigan that I really had left in my wardrobe that, oh, no, no, kitty. She's already grabbed onto it. Um, that I really needed that I didn't have yet. So and that's a nice, that's a, a really nice color and a nice weight as well. All right, now Kitty's starting to get playful, which means she's going to start attacking all my stuff. All right, so we're going into bundle number two. All right, so another debut sweater. This must be a new brand, and this is in a small medium. $39 for this sweater. And this is a really neat color. I, Kitty, she's grabbing all of the clothes. Stop it, baby. You have claws and I don't want you ruining things. She doesn't know, she can't even hear me. All right, so again, $39. I'm not sure what color this is. It's like almost like a, I feel like it's a terracotta, like orange color, stop baby. But then it's got like, almost like a plumish, pinky tone to it as well. Really nice, really nice. So this looks like maybe the same type of sweater as the other one, just a different color. So excited to try that on. All right, she wants to come say hello for a second. Yes, you do. You tell everybody how bad you're being right now. Say every item mommy holds up, I grab with my claws. Why didn't you tell them what you're doing? I put the box down there so she could jump in the box, but she hasn't seen it yet. So, all right, next item looks like a pair of trouser leggings by Liverpool. Um, these are $89. And these are um, really nice looking as well. These are like a really nice, like kind of chocolate brown color, which I'm super into for this fall. And they come down and they, now these are gonna fit more like a legging. They do have real working pockets 
and a belt loop. I just ordered some belts. I am in desperate need of belts. Um, and then on the front, they have just like little faux pockets here. So those are really great. Those are also into size eight. So we'll see how that does. And then I think what she was excited about is, and this is sort of the star of the out of the show, um, another Liverpool item. Oh, this is going to be nice. This is a leather jacket in a size medium. I saw a little box of Happy get this, um, and it looked fantastic on her, although she is much thinner than I am and taller than I am. Um, so we'll see what this looks like on me. The only thing that I don't think I like is this part. Now, you can zip this part off. I don't know if I like the bottom of this. I've seen it on her and I didn't know if I liked it either. Like I'm, I'm like wavering on it. It is really thick, really heavy. I'm sure this is expensive. Um, this one is, well, it's not too bad. It's $119 for the weight of it and how it feels and the options and how to wear it. It's really nice. It's a very edgy piece. Um, it does have zippers here. This is a nice jacket. This is a really, really, really nice jacket. So, well, of course they did again. There's not one thing in here I don't like. <laughs> every single item in here I like. So in just a few minutes, we will try everything on. I'll get with you guys and we'll discuss um, what our final thoughts are and what I will be keeping out of this box. So I'll see you guys all real soon. Probably for you, a snap. For me, it's going to be hours. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so it's like two days later, not hours later. Um, it's late at night, about 7, 7.30 at night. I have tired work all day here in makeup. Um, I figured I'd pop on real quick because I wanted to show you this tank top first. So um, hopefully you guys can see it. It's got like a little like rough edge detail here and it's at the bottom too. I got this on Ever Eve and I'm gonna see if I can link it for you because it's on sale and it is the perfect um, cami for fall. It's like this beautiful, rich pumpkin color. Um, I was always afraid of really kind of orange. I didn't think orange looked good on me, but this color looks fantastic. And then I have my um, cheetah print belt that I kept from my recent Nordstrom. And then these pants were, um, I think I got these pants from Thread Up. And I wanna show you the boots too. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I don't have them on now because my feet hurt, but um, also with this outfit, I wore these lovely snake skin boots today and I got so many compliments on them. I mean, really just look at them. These will be in a boot video that I'm going to do, but I thought, oh, I thought I'd bring them in and show you guys. They are so cute on, they come up past the ankle a little bit. They do have a higher heel. So if you can't wear heels, you won't want these, but guys, I got these at Walmart. Um, Walmart launched a new line online. Um, you, I think you have to get them online. So I'm going to try to find this and the tank and link them for you so you can kind of recreate this outfit. You can certainly wear any belt, any pair of brown pants, any cardigan you want. It doesn't even have to be like this mocha color. I just, that's what I did. Um, but if you have, I think this looks fantastic with these boots. So I'm going to try to find them if they're still available because I want to say don't quote me on this because I got to double check, but I want to say these were like 30 bucks or something. They were not expensive. They were a little bit more expensive than Walmart normally is, but it's a new brand they launched. So I'm going to post these below so you guys can check them out. Okay guys. So I have the cute little burgundy um, sweater on. Um, what is, oh, I have that. My other necklace is popping out. Um, and it fits nice and it's comfortable and it's really, really, really soft. It's a nice color. It's a nice rich color for the fall. Just like that beautiful pumpkin top um, cami. I love these colors for the fall. I really, really enjoy them. And it's exactly the type of sweater I like. It's more fitted to me, but yet still warm. And these are like perfect for Virginia weather because honestly, we are getting like in the 40s and 50s in the morning, but then by the afternoon, we're still like in the 70s and 80s. Um, and then it's chilly again at night. So um, these are perfect. And even for me in the winter, these are still perfect. I, I, these just look better on me than those big, heavy knit bulk things that have been coming out, the big oversized stuff. It just doesn't look good on me. I know it's a trend, but if a trend doesn't look good on your body style, don't do it. So that's what I have to say about that. Um, so I'm gonna back up and show you, and I have the Liverpool pants on. I don't think I like the Liverpool pants. Um, I'm actually gonna make you guys a little higher because I put my boots on to show you 
The, what I don't like about them, besides that back part on the butt, is they're short. And I had to go back and look and see, like, are these petite? But I think it's just the style of the jean that they're supposed to be short. They're not a crop, so I, I'm a little confused. I thought they were going to be like a boot cut, but you'll see how short they are. So here they are. And you can see, like, just how short. They're just, they're way too short for me. Um, these are not... I mean, I don't know, they're weird. <laughs> they're just weird. So I'm gonna pull it up and show you, cause it's got this little, also this little thing on here. And actually, um, even though these are an eight, they're also too big in the waist. So I don't know if you guys, and in the back, there's like a big, huge gap in here. I probably need a six in these. So I might have lost weight, I don't know. Somebody told me at work today, they thought I lost weight um, and I had a size six jeans on yesterday, which I haven't fit in a size six in a while. So maybe I've lost a few pounds. I have no idea. Um, these are feeling like they're too big in the back and um, even in the front, there's like, I don't know if you guys can see that, they're just big. So they're stretchy. So um, maybe these are the kind you gotta size down because of the material, I don't know. But this is nice, I do like, I do like this and actually you could do like a little bit of a, a front tuck to give yourself a little bit more definition, tuck the back under a little like that. If you like a tucked in look, not everybody does. But there it is. I don't know if I like that tucked in actually. I'm not sure how I feel about that. And I don't think I like these jeans. I don't know that I'm gonna get used to them, the, the length of them. I'm gonna just think that they're floods and then I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna wear them and people are gonna think they're floods, but I actually don't think they are. I think it's just like the style is more of like an ankle kick flare type of a pant. So I'm gonna keep these on and I'm going to try on the other, the other top, that the other sweater next. All right, the dogs are around because they just came in. So here's the other one. This feels a little different, like the material feels different. I actually really like this color. I, I can't quite, it's almost like a brown color, um, but it's got a lot of like, um, almost like an apple cider. That's what we'll call it, like an apple cider color. But it's per, close to the same, except the other one was more of a high-low and it had like a little slit here. This one just comes straight down. This actually is the kind that will look really good as a front tuck, or if you want, you can do just like a, a side tuck, and that's what they call a French tuck. So I actually, I think that looks kind of cute, give it kind of a diagonal look. Um, I do like this one. I really like the color of this. Again, it's like a warm, toasty, chestnut color that's more what this is and it's a unique color and I like it I think I almost like this color a little bit more than the burgundy just because I have a lot of burgundy tops I don't think I have any sweaters that are this color so this one is a possibility and this looks fantastic with these shoes too I have a lot of shoes actually that would be cute with this top but I do like this so Okay, um, I do want to try on and see if we can wear, um, if it's if it's going to be too tight. I want to try the, the leather jacket on. She said you can try it on with the, um, this is tickling me on the inside. She said you can try it on with the um, sweater. So let's see if we can wear it with the sweaters. I might have just heard Kenzie. I don't know what time it is. Um, my kids are all starting to come home from work and school and stuff. So... Oh, this is, this is a nice jacket. This is a really, really nice jacket. Um, let me see what happens when it, and it, I, it's so the good, the good thing right off the bat is it's pretty good in length on my arms. Um, it's a very sleek looking edgy type of a jacket. I really like it. I like it more than I thought I would. I wasn't sure if about this part, but I think it's okay. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to wear this with a sweater. And at least this weight sweater, I can. Um, I'm just gonna try to like see how tight it is if I zip it because it might be a little bit tight. I feel like it's gonna be a little tight. Let's see what happens. Oh no, I thought it was gonna be too tight, but it's not. Go all the way up if you want. Um, 
got all the little things on it. I don't want to take it off unless I know I'm going to get it. Um, does it have zippers or pockets? No, so it, it, this does not have pockets, so, um, but it does, and you can actually, you know, you can take this part off and wear it as a shorter jacket too, which I like that as well. Um, yeah, I don't mind this. I thought I wasn't gonna like this piece on the bottom, but it actually hits me in what I think is a flattering location right above the rear, right like mid rear, mid bum bum. So I think this is okay. What do you guys think? I feel like that's distracting. What is that, is that from my jeans? Yeah, let's see if I can stick that up there. So, and it's warm, it's like warm and heavy. It's a really nice weight for right now, especially in the mornings. It's really chilly here in the mornings and you need a little something on, so. Um, yeah, that's very stylish and chic. I really do like this. This, this jacket may be worth the investment. This is by Liverpool. I'm going to see, because I know some of you don't get the subscription boxes, so I'm going to do some digging. And if I can find links to any of these items that I have, I'm going to post them for you. Or if I can find something similar, I'll try to post them. I know I can do that with Trunk Club, because I can just, it's Nordstrom, so I can just go on Nordstrom, usually, and find it and give you guys a link, which I've just started doing recently for you. Um, but I'm going to look and see, because these are Liverpool, and sometimes you can find these items right through Liverpool. And I'll link it for you. And I'll also link Mix and Match Box. So if you just want to get a box, you can do that. I like this. This is going to be hard for me to part with. What do you guys think? I definitely want your opinion. I'm not making any decisions until my gal pals tell me if it looks good or not. Okay? You guys need to tell me if you like it. So, okay. So, so far, this one is my fa probably my favorite piece out of everything I've tried on. Um, so what we have left to try on is the cardigan and then the, I believe the, um, the black wrap dress. And I think that's it. So hold on. We'll be right back. I forgot. I, I forgot about the Liverpool, like kind of brown leggings, which will look good with this. So I just kept this on. So here they are. Um, they're kind of like these I could wear to work cause they're a little bit, they're very thick. They're not legging material. They're definitely like really thick. Um, but they have a legging appearance. And then of course they have back pockets right there and again with a pair of booties and the jewelry cute and easy and super comfortable for like the weekend these were pretty pricey if I remember they were like $89 or something so they you know but they they have to fit a need in my wardrobe the jeans don't these may I don't have any kind of leggings like this. And I've been transferring my wardrobe to a new color palette for the fall than I've ever done before. Um, these would, God, they're comfortable too. Like when you are on the weekend and you don't wanna wear like hard scratchy jeans, even if you've got comfortable jeans, these are like amazing. <laughs> they feel, they feel great. And they come up just so you guys can see. And they fit really good. These are a size eight. They're not uh, too tight or too loose. They're just like a perfect fit. So these might be a good, these are a beautiful chocolate too. They almost look black in the viewfinder, but they are chocolate colored. So, all right, now we'll try the dress and the cardigan on. Okay, so first we have the little cardigan on. I probably wouldn't wear it with this dress, but um, because the dress is long sleeves, I probably, I mean, maybe at my desk if I were cold, but I don't think I need it, but it's a nice cardigan. Um, it's not super thin or see-through. It's probably like a medium size or medium weight type. It does have pockets here on the side um, and it just kind of hits mid midway down. Um, it is a nice comfortable cardigan. And again, I don't have really, I have a really, really, really thin cardigan in this color. Um, but I think I might have mentioned a burgundy cardigan to her when I put my note in because I that's what I could use. So this is nice. I like it. There's nothing I can find wrong with it. Um, I do like it. I don't think this was really expensive either, this little cardigan. This is a comfortable little one. This is something I would take to work for sure and wear. Um, you know what this would be cute with? That outfit that with the um, Victorian high neck I got that 
it was like a haltery kind of high neck that I got from um, Stitch Fix and it had burgundy flowers. It was like burgundy and it had flowers on it, like floral pattern. This would actually be really pretty with that. I bet you that would look really, really nice. I don't think I have that down here. I just did laundry. No, I had three piles of laundry down here. I took two piles up. It was in the pile I took up. So this is really nice. So there it is. And let me show you the dress on its own. All right, so here it is. It's a nice little wrap and it just kind of, you kind of can pull this over a little bit more to try to cover up more here. Um, and it is just a really nice fitting. I mean, I, have, I don't have any shapewear on, no pockets in this. It skims your hips nicely. It doesn't seem to really hang on to things it's not supposed to. Um, it feels nice and it's comfortable. So it's just above the knee. You could add in the winter, you could add tights, um, tights with it, do like a monochromatic look with like black tights and black um, high heels or something, or you could do just hose, like nude hose and, and um, heels with this. You could also put um, booties with this too if you wanna make it a little bit more fall, but since it has the three quarter inch sleeves, it's kind of, a good nice fall dress. The other thing you can do is add, you probably add like a, um, a scarf or um, something like this. This is a, um, I don't know if I showed you guys this or not, but this is, this is a um, kind of like a, it's a cardigan kind of, <laughs> but it's got fringe on it. And then you take it up, it's, it pins up here and it pins up here. So it like sits like this. So like you could add this to it if you wanna, just for some extra warmth while you're outside, that something like that would be cute with it. Or I'm thinking just like a pretty plaid, like a pretty plaid scarf. Um, this is what this looks like if I kept it open. I don't know that I'd wanna cover up the prettiness of the dress though. But if you were cold, that'd be great. You can also tie this like that, like a shawl kind of a look. So, um, so I think there's some different fun options that you could do with this. I think you could probably add a belt to this as well. I have my little belt down here. Let me see. So you can probably add a little belt for a little bit of color. This is not the right belt to add because, yeah, I'm not gonna have enough. Oh yeah, maybe I will. Well, I need, I need like one more hole. So you could add a little belt, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I think about the belt. Um, I don't know if I like the belt with this, but there. I think there's a lot of things that you could do with this outfit. So um, overall, I like it. Um, I think it's a it's a nice it's a nice little black dress. So I'm gonna look up in my closet and see how many black dresses I have. I'm not gonna buy another one. If I have like five black dresses up there, we're not buying another one. Especially if I have ones that fit and look really good and they're in great condition because I, I know I haven't gotten my use out of them. Um, so if they're fantastic, I have no reason to buy another one. So, uh, all right, so I'm gonna need your help, but in a second, we're gonna recap. I'm gonna go get my PJ Bottoms and a t-shirt and I'll be right back and we'll recap what my thoughts are. Okay guys, so I thought this was a really great box for mix and match. So let's start. Um, with this really kind of what I dubbed as a uh, chestnut color or apple cider um, sweater. This is $39. I don't think that's a bad price for a really nice sweater, and I like it. So this is a, this is a maybe, but I have some hard decisions because financially, like my favorite piece in here is the... Um, the bomber jacket, I wanna hear your opinions on that, but like if I keep that, then like I might let these other sweaters go even though they're nice because I wanna keep the piece that's special. And this is really nice, but I feel like I could get this anywhere. You know what I mean? Like I could get, I mean, I like the color. I don't know if I can get that color anywhere, but I, I can get sweaters anywhere. There's so many to choose from. So like if I don't get this sweater, I might, I'll get more throughout the year, you know? So the Gilly dress is $45. And um, again, it's a really nice piece. It's a nice, really great, like basic to have in your closet. But I'm going to check. I'm pretty sure 
that I have several, at least two up there that I can think of that still should fit me pretty good. I need to try them on and make sure they still they still fit. They're not too loose because my weight's changed. But, um, you know, my weight, it's just up and down, up and down, up and down. That's what you get. And now I'm having like severely dry eye, which they're saying is a product of having hypothyroid where before I had hyper but like if I have hypo then I shouldn't be losing weight so I don't know what's going on with me but anyway I gotta try those other dresses on that was my point so then we have the um brown chocolate brown Liverpool leggings and these how much were these these are $89 I like these and they're so comfortable like I could see myself getting quite a bit of use out of these um, would they be worth, you know, almost $90 to me? That's the question. Um, I think for myself and how much I would wear them, yes, because I can wear these to work. If these were just for the weekend, like a pair of jeans, I don't know that I'd get my use out of them because I have like 40 pairs of jeans upstairs. Um, not that many, but I have a lot and I'm getting ready to get rid of some of my jeans. So these are a maybe. And then the jeans, these jeans by Liverpool... Uh, these are 98 and um, they're well-made jeans they're like really really good quality they were a little big on me and I wasn't a fan of the bottom and I also am not a fan of like the way that the back of this was but it was like really gapy in the back for me so these a didn't fit right and B there's like some styling things on here that I just am not a fan of so these are definitely going back I'm um, I'm positive of that I don't know how they looked but I would just always be like worried that that they felt like floods, you know? And that people would think like, oh, her pants are too short. What, what's she trying to do there? <laughs> I know there's a style. I know that there's people are doing that and it's in style. I just don't know. This I might keep, because I think this was $29. This is that little cardigan. Yeah, see, this is only 29 bucks and I could use this little cardigan. Um, again, I'm before I make a decision on this, I am going to go through and look at all of my cardigans just to double check that I didn't pack away because I haven't unpacked my some of my winter clothes yet from last year. So if I have a burgundy cardigan in there for the winter, then I will pass on this. But if I don't, then I'm probably gonna pick it up because I need it. All right, so then we have the burgundy um, sweater. This is actually a different material than that chestnut colored sweater. I did want to look at it. Same maker. This is 74% acrylic, 22% polyester, and 4% spandex. So this is a hand wash item. I knew this felt different than the other one. I'm going to look at what the other one's made out of. Um, this one is $45. And again, I liked it, but could I get other sweaters like this in the future? this is just a basic sweater so yeah i could um might even be able to find one a little bit less expensive than 45 dollars. i'm not opposed to paying that for a good sweater um but i'm trying to buy things i absolutely love i want to see what this one's made of because this one feels different it's by the same brand but it's a different style all right so this is um this one's 100 percent polyester <laughs> and i thought it was different i was like this feels different it actually feels softer um than the acrylic one. So um, I would get this one anyway, because this one, if I was gonna get one, it would be this one, because it wouldn't shrink. All right, and so then that leaves us with the Liverpool jacket, which I don't need, but I want. And this is $119 in a medium. So um, I really like this. So if I keep nothing, I will keep this because that's my most fave. So I definitely want your opinions. What do you guys think? I mean, she did a good job. You know, there's no crazy prints in here. I'm, I've been going a little bit more solid so I can add some fun accessories and things. And I really like what she did with this box. Um, I'm getting a little overwhelmed sometimes with all the prints that we're getting. I don't mind getting prints here and there, but I feel like everything I have is a print, you know, and, and then it makes it really hard to like mix and match. So I'm trying to find some like staple pieces and then I can, you know, if I have a special pair of pants or a shirt with it, then I can wear a solid on the other side, you know? So anyway, very curious to know what your thoughts are on this box, but um, I thought she, I really thought she did a fantastic job. Um, like I said, I have Anna. So if you get a box and use my code, um, you can request her. And I think she's the one that I spoke with the very first time when I very first signed up for Mix and Match. I think it's been about two years now. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. My kitty's over there snoozing. Um, I think she's been snoozing all day since we've been working. 
She did make a huge mess in the bathroom upstairs. She takes, I don't know why she does this. I really don't know why she does this, but she plays with the food in the dish and she scoops it out with her pot and puts it on the floor. Scoops it out, puts it on the floor. There's probably 150 pieces of cat food on the floor right now that I have to go upstairs and sweep. And she's the only one that does that. I guess she thinks she's playing. I guess she plays with it. I don't know. But anyway, um, she says hi in her sleepy little way. That's how she wakes up because she can't hear you. And so when you touch her, it startles her a little. So you got to be real gentle with her. Um, hey, baby, are you going to be crazy today? You like your chin rub? She's probably going to keep me up all night running through. Oh, oh, look at that big mouth. She's probably going to keep me up all night tonight. So... Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. I will see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment what you liked. And um, there are a lot of kitties and animals on my channel. You're looking at everybody. You're looking at everybody. You got your little buddy all stretched out funny. Um, and I hope to subscribe. I hope you come back and visit with me and uh, hang out with me as we do shopping. I'll see you. <laughs> she doesn't have balance either. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.